Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello everyone, welcome back to Painting Watercolours with me, Colin. I hope you enjoy this one. It's a winter scene, as we're in winter. I'll keep it seasonal. This is £140 Bottomford Extra Rough Watercolour Paper. These are Mission Gold colours that I'm using and they are... Let's have a listen, I should tell you. Then you can see what I've got. Naples Yellow, French Ultramarine, Crimson Lake, Burnt Umber and a little bit of Neutral Tint. So I'm going to set off with some Naples Yellow. And I've just dried off around where the hills are. I just want to throw in a little bit of light that comes down here. And that's a little bit of the Crimson Lake. We will be adding white, Mission Gold white, to this later on. And that's a bit of French Ultramarine. And I just want to get this on really. I want to just bring a little violet into this, I think. So that's just a little bit of French Ultramarine with the Crimson Lake. Ultramarine once again, and into that I want to drop some neutral tint. That looks okay. I'm going to take some of the Crimson Lake Putty there with some neutral tint. I'm going to make a darker purple, darker violet. Bringing a little water into it, just so I can pull it about. It's going to run a little bit darker up here. I'm going to take a kitchen towel. I'm going to take out some white areas. Take some neutral tint into this again, just darken it just along the edge of some of this that's coming into the cloud. I'm just using the tip of the brush. And then I'm going to leave that to dry. Okay, that's dry, and I'm just going to mix up a, a wash because <clears throat> we're going to glaze over the sky, and I'm going to make a violet, and then we're going to make this really thin just by adding water to it. <clears throat> I'm going to take some of this on a big brush. The board is set at an angle. I'm dropping plenty of paint on this. Take some clean water, catch the edge, allow this to drift down. Water again, catch the edge. As you come down, the paint will thin and graduate. And then you want to let that dry. Now your sky's dry, and into this I'm just putting some water in. I'm going to take some of this and darken it, and then I'm going to have a little bit of burnt umber to it. A detail brush, a rigger brush. A mop brush, just on the tips. And you're going to leave that to dry. I'll 
just rewet this <clears throat> back around the hill. Um, I do want some pink in it. I'm just going to pull it with a flow of land. And I'm going to take some of the French Ultramarine, the tiny speck of neutral tint in it, just to grey this down slightly. We've done the background hill and it's dry. I'll just re wet this foreground. And you're going to leave that to dry. Then I want to take some of the French Ultramarine, Crimson Lake, take some burnt umber. I want to produce a sort of a violet grey. I'm going to pop some in there just to make sure. Just a tiny bit of water in with that. And I just want to mark out some of the trees where they are. I'm going to take a mop brush take a little off the brush a little paint at a time Take a brush with some clean water. I want to pull some of this down, just allow it to run, just to create a, a shadow under the tree. To take a little bit of a colour, just drop it in, just allow this a little bit of encouragement to come down. And you're getting the shadow and attaching the tree to the ground at the same time. You could put more trees in the background here, but for this, I'm just not going to. tips of the brush I'll bring some of the mixture into the ground just some water just touch the bottom just to get it wet. This one goes right off the page, get a bit of height on it. Like I said, you can decide how many trees you want to put in. leave that to dry okay we can put some highlights on these trees and I think we'll take some of the and I'm actually going to take some white paint straight from the tube 
taking some of this on my brush. Just want to touch this on. Just hit it once in one position and move it on. birds in the sky and this is where you get to sign it put a map around it and frame it hope you've enjoyed this one if you have please leave a comment all comments are welcome and please consider subscribing all subscribers are welcome and i'll see you next time thank you